Hello, my name is Nicholas Howard, and today I'll be presenting you the Internet of Things, IoT security and privacy issues. Important topics that I will be discussing throughout this presentation include the following, background history of IoT, concerns for IoT device compatibility, IoT security's impact on healthcare, IoT security's impact on home, current IoT privacy risks, IoT's privacy risks for the future, Proposed solutions for IoT security in healthcare. Proposed solutions for IoT security in households. IoT around the globe. Ethical standpoints of IoT security. And our conclusions. Background or history of IoT technology. The Internet of Things is a concept that was first realized around the 1970s, but it was originally referred to as embedded internet. Now, what is IoT or information of things? Well, to put it quite simply, the information of things is an upcoming development of the internet in which everyday objects are given network capabilities allowing them to transfer data. In 1999 the terms of Internet of Things was coined by Kevin Ashton who wanted to show his management of the company he worked at that radio frequency identification or RFID capabilities were astronomically better than anything else at the time. Popularity of IoT rises during 2010 Awareness was raised after Chinese government mentioned IoT in their five-year plan and the release of Google Street View. Awareness exponentially grew and IoT market was projected to be worth $8.9 trillion. This chart or graph shows that the relative level of interest increased in just one year of from January 2013 to January 2014 from 20 to 100, which is five times the search activity. Concerns for IoT device compatibility. Which devices should or shouldn't be allowed to connect to the internet? Most people would think of the fridge, the microwave, lights, security systems, SOAR, etc. Should users be informed about the information that is being collected? IoT device convenience creates ignorance. Users don't know what data is or is not being sent. How to properly scale convenience without giving up privacy? A company must be able to decide how to make the item convenient while not giving up the user's privacy. How will proper defenses be set up for these devices? Will the hackability of these IoT devices be considered? IoT security's impact on healthcare. Potential avenues of attack increase with numbers of IoT devices. Hospitals are especially vulnerable due to the layout of their network. Electronic health records, or EHR, become high-value targets for hackers. Partial EHRs are worth 50 times the value of a credit card number. One partial EHR going for $50 and a credit card number going for a dollar. On the black market, that is. Cases have been reported of hackers manipulating IoT devices in hospitals. This poses a huge problem because the hackers can basically just control any device that a hospital owns such as infusion pumps and other things that people's lives depend on. Over 34% of US EHR have already been hacked into or accessed, so one out of three people's electronic health records have already been accessed by hackers. IoT Security's Impact on Home IoT devices such as webcams are easily being hacked and accessed. Cisco estimated that over 50 billion devices will be connected to the internet by the end of a decade and a large portion of these devices will be used for households. Mundane items are being connected to the internet with insufficient hardware for antivirus software. This poses a huge problem for the hackability of IoT devices. Security firm Proofpoint found hackers have commandeered groups of devices including home routers, televisions, and even refrigerators. In some of these cases it was due to the fact that the company password that was sent out with the IoT device stayed the same. Current IoT Privacy Risks Despite simplicity of devices, they will collect large amounts of data about the user. This poses a huge problem for the user because this data is not considered private data due to the nature of the data itself. Due to this loophole, many hacker attacks may go unnoticed or can even be not pursued. Who will have access to this information? Should third party companies even have access to this kind of data? IoT privacy risks for the future. If the rate of IoT device growth continues, there would be billions of IoT devices that collect, store, and transfer data through networks in a very short time. This information could easily be used to create detailed accounts of the private lives of millions of users. 
thus destroying the idea of privacy in IoT devices. These devices can be triggered to send information autonomously or by default without user awareness. This poses a problem for the users who want to control what is and isn't recorded by their IoT devices. Proposed solutions for IoT security in healthcare. The use of software design networking would deliver crucial multi-layered defense in depth strategies. The use of this would be to manipulate certain authentications and authority based on user's location in the network. This would help to segment certain parts of the network and isolate the user to that segment. Another proposed solution would be stealth networking, which delivers automatically isolated flow and zones which establish necessary control and enforcement points, thus providing the isolation needed to help prevent cyber attacks. Separating networks into different sections based on function would allow separation of important databases such as EHR and payment card systems to be separate and not accessed from one single attack. Proposed solutions for IoT security and healthcare continued. The isolation of unrelated services creates a new layer of protection against single intrusions, as stated recently. The use of multiple proposed solutions may not be practical, though. Considering when applying these solutions that if they are scalable to a large-scale networks and systems, they are good. Otherwise, it is not considered practical. The more intricate the defense, the harder it will be to implement on a larger scale. Legal stability for IoT security in households. The global issue of the lack of enforcement by government due to vague or loose privacy and protection laws is something that we can see globally. Regulations that are currently in place are insufficient in properly addressing the issues. This may be due to the nature of the data making it non-personal, as stated previously. The U.S. does not have any form of predominant data protection governing the private sector, unlike the EU and Canada, though the U.S. does have a pre predominant data protection governing the public sector. IoT around the globe Privacy is a human right that is protected domestically, regionally, and internationally through global human rights instruments. The European Union has attempted to identify aspects of a possible IoT normative framework by hiring experts to address both the legal and business environment issues, though this proved to be unsuccessful. It is hard to find a medium that satisfies multiple nation standards due to the differing levels of data protection between nations. The application of laws made to regulate specific personal data is extremely limited due to the nature of the data. IoT around the globe continued. U.S. Federal Trade Commissions admitted that existing legislation was not prepared to deal with issues that come with IoT technology. This means that the global ignorance of IoT issues has led to the exponential increases in hacking around the world, attacking both the public and private sectors. Nowadays, hacks are headlining major news, including the infamous group known as Anonymous that has been involved in many global controversies, including ISIS. Ethical Standpoint of IoT Security Utilitarianism would agree that underwhelming attention is being paid to IoT security. Devices promote convenience in everyday tasks yet at the expense of user privacy and security. This allows ignorance. Users are not concerned with how much privacy or security they are losing because the device is so convenient. Companies releasing unsecured IoT devices in order to make a profit would be considered ethically wrong. A deontological standpoint would consider a golden rule for IoT technology to be creating a normative framework for the design and implementation of IoT software. Proper consideration must be given to the security of these devices while also keeping in mind user privacy. Ethical standpoint of IoT security continued. Creating more secure IoT devices does not imply the limitation of the amount of functions a device may have. A device being more safe may not necessarily mean that it dare not function as well. Explicit amounts of time during the developmental stage should be focused towards the security of the device instead of being put onto the side. Hardware must factor in requirements of antivirus software. In conclusion, the legal and ethical issues that arise from IoT technology is not given nearly enough awareness due to the invisibility of the data being transferred. Since the user cannot see it, they do not care for it. Media coverage of any major hack would increase awareness. More legal action should be taken to properly defend human rights when discussing cyberspace and data. Law should mandate certain security requirements to be implemented on all IoT devices. Users should be made aware of the type of data that is being sent and who can access this data and what is their rights to this data. Regulation should be made on third-party access to this data. Companies need to put more focus and emphasis on the security aspect of developing IoT devices for future large-scale implementation. Thank you very much for your time.